un petit peu. Je sais que c'est un très très bon commentaire de YouTube brésilien, un des, des meilleurs au Canada, sinon le meilleur à ce point-là. Euh, il a affronté Sean Chuck, il a affronté CJ Fernandez, il a affronté vraiment les gros noms. Il est vraiment, vraiment très bon. C'est vraiment le plus gros, gros défi. Là. Pour moi, c'est vraiment le, le, le plus gros nom que je pas affronter. Hein. C'est sûr, c'est bon. Ce qui arrive à mon frère, ça m'a marqué pas mal, parce que je vais jamais mon frère se faire faire mal. Il a vraiment dû se faire faire mal, c'est sûr que ça... Au début, ça m'a touché, mais après ça, je veux dire, ça m'a remis de, 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 de l'entraînement plus tôt. Puis mon frère, il m'aide pour mon entraînement, puis il va être là dans mon coin pour le combat. Puis euh, il faut que je l'achète et je vais m'appuyer, puis on va essayer de, de gagner ce combat-là ensemble, c'est sûr. Ce combat, je vais me battre pour moi, mais je vais me battre pour lui aussi. Puis euh, ça va bien aller. Maintenant que je suis sorti de l'ombre, je prépare ma montée vers le sommet des poids super légers. Benyam, c'est la première étape. Young Stefan Vigno, TKO Prodigy, his debut in June of 2001 as a very young man. He's coming actually in with a victory right off the bat. I think something that makes uh, this young man so dangerous is how respectful he is of his uh, opponent's skills. And he's very aware of the fact that Brigham has fought the likes of Sean Shirk and CJ Fernandez. However, this young guy keeps improving himself all the time, training at uh, Angelo Zaraka's place and moving up with top notch guys for his book to stand up in his, gar his ground game. I understand that he's actually picked up a couple kicks. You, Mark. Well, actually, uh, Stefan and I have been training now quite a bit on our ground game. Um, I'm, uh, as you know, uh, under Hands of Gracie, so Stefan is uh, is in the process of uh, joining the likes of our team and uh, training his uh, his submission skills with and without the gi on. So he's come a long way. I mean, uh, this kid's a fighter. Uh, he uh, he's in the gym day in day out. Uh, you know, he's he's doing everything to be the top dog in this event. Let's go to ring announcer Anthony Horn. Le prochain combat de la soirée est un défi chez les poids super légers. Et vous êtes présenté par Monsieur Jean Talon. The next bout of the evening is a TKO Super Lightweight Challenge and is brought to you by Monsieur Jean Talon. Ce combat est prévu pour 3 rounds de 16 minutes. This bout is scheduled for 3 rounds of 5 minutes. La bit, the referee, Monsieur Philippe Chartier. Tout d'abord dans le point bleu, il fait ce soir ses débuts dans l'organisation TKO. Sa fiche en combat est timée de 6 victoires et 4 défaites. De Winnipeg, Manitoba, nous aurons Saint-Désis présent 144 livres. Introducing first in the blue corner, he's making his TKO debut and he has a pro mixed martial art record of 6 and 4. From Winnipeg, Manitoba, standing 5 foot 10 and weighing 144 pounds, Curtis Brigham! Son adversaire dans le coin rouge, il participe ce soir à son sixième combat au sein de l'organisation TKO. Sa fiche en combat est timée de 5 victoires et 2 défaites. Des îles de la Madeleine, Québec, mesurant 5 et 10, pesant 144 livres. His opponent in the red corner. He is a five-time TKO veteran with a pro mixed martial arts record of 5 and 2. From Madeleine, Quebec, setting five for ten, and weighing 144 pounds, Simba, Simba, Vigno! Big news that uh, Stefan's brother Steve is in his corner right now. These two guys both take each other's fights to heart. And uh, Stefan, uh, he feels a little bit of pressure on because uh, he's taking his brother's last two defeats uh, to heart. And uh, he wants to win this fight not only for himself, but also for his brother. No, they're very close. You know, they're training partners at the same time as, you know, being, uh, you know, being brothers. I mean, uh, he really he really loves his brother. And what happened over the past two fights has taken his toll on him. And he wants to he wants to win. I mean, uh, it's the family name, you know, Steph's. Steve, uh, who knows what's going on in that family, but you know, they need to, uh, they need to uh, revenge some uh, wins here. You can see here that uh, the fighters are getting really busy. 
you know, he doesn't want anything. Uh, Graham doesn't really want anything to do with uh, with Vigneault's uh, with Vigno stand up. I mean, he's got. Jerry, we got an armbar. Oh, 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 this here. might be over here. This might be over. Vigneault's gonna have to do some quick work to try and uh, slip out of that sub. Like, he's really, he's really got to protect himself here. He's in danger. This is not good for Stefan at all. I hope I mean, he works on one bar escapes with a mark. I mean, we worked this stuff, but I mean, Graham is no chump at this stuff. I mean, he's a Brazilian jiu, -jiu jitsu brown belt. Oh, oh, oh he's right right flipped it. Very nice. Wow, he's lucky he's got some flexible joints on him. This guy is, uh, he's tough. I mean, he'll break his arm before he'll tap out. Well, now it's time for Simba to try and make some work of Brigham's guard and try and work through it. Brigham's looking like he's going for another armbar. You know, Vigneault's got to get his elbows in. You know, he's got to, he's got to protect himself. I mean, he likes the ground and pound, but geez, he's got to, he's got to protect those joints. Well, it looks like he's keeping his head propped up. He's trying to slip oh, 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 away from the triangle triangle attempt. Oh. 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 No, he's working his way out of this. He's being really wiry. Nothing else. You're going to have to give him credit for that. Stays busy. He's going to keep slipping those subs. He's exceptionally, exceptionally strong for a, uh, a super lightweight. You know, I mean, to, to, he's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu brown belt under there. I mean, uh, well, you can tell because he seems to be pretty slick with his movements, especially when he goes back into that guard. He looks like he's awfully fast with his offense from there. He's already tried a few subs. His transitions are real slick. And, you know, you see he's got a wrestler in his corner. Uh, the guy's name is slipping me right now. But, I mean, he's, uh, he was working his takedowns. His ground game is just looks like he's doing a, like a pretty good job laying in some strikes here on Brigham. Brigham's look, looked like he started to slip him pretty efficiently, but now he's starting to catch some punishment right now. Now, Brigham's guard is, uh, is outstanding. I mean, he uses his feet as hands. He defends himself with them. He pushes off the hips. He's got great hip movement, and that's what it takes uh, to have a good guard. But Simba's doing a really good job countering and backing it. Oh, and uh, landing a, a nice little kick there. I mean, Simba's a striker by nature. He's doing what he does best. He's getting up, and he's kicking. He's getting, you know, trying to... Oh, great stop! Wow, Brigham did not like that. He is hurt. And Simba taking advantage of the situation, trying to pass around, get to some side control. Man, he's a shark in the water right now. He smells the blood. He's going for the kill. Oh, sharp knee and a very smooth transition to a top now. Looks like he's setting up either for an armbar. It looks like he's going to lay down with some pretty heavy hits here. He's got to control the ring. You get too close to those ropes, they'll pull you back and they'll stand you guys back up. I mean, he's got to get that fighter back. Oh, oh Simba isn't having any part of that. He's pulling him back in the ring. Elbow, he's elbow. Laying some really nice hits. He wants to finish this here. He has no. Oh, beautiful! It's over. Fight is over. Huge victory for Vigno. TKO mounted the grappler and beat him silly. Wow, that was some exceptional groundwork by Simba, not only to win, but I mean, he's coming up in the ranks in the super lightweight division, man. I mean, there's uh, there's some great guys out there, but I mean, uh, you're going to see Vigneault work his way to the top. A uh, very, uh, very uh, humble Brigham, showing his sportsmanship, holding uh, Vigneault's hand up there for the victory a couple of seconds ago. And here, and here we go, here's a recap of that really, really quick uh, submission attempt by Brigham. And uh, it looks like Vigneault's in some pretty serious trouble here right now, but it looks like his groundwork with you paid off, Mark. I mean, he's uh, he's he's a fighter. I mean, he'll do anything it takes to get out. He always senses danger. I mean, he's very, very hard to submit because he's, first of all, he's flexible and he's tough, and he's, he's got this fighting spirit. I mean, he's the kind of guy that if you you hit him and he's sparring, he just comes back and tries to pull oh, twice as much. There's that beautiful stomp kick again, which I think really was a huge factor in the end of the fight. Simba took full advantage by moving around, and here he is landing some really great strikes. I mean, he had a nice solid position on top, and Brigham was not doing anything to do uh, to defend himself properly. The referee stopped that fight at the perfect time. I mean, uh, referee for TKO certainly has fighter safety as his main priority in there, and I uh, think very well taught.